Hi, kindergarten to. Good morning. How are you today? Feeling good? Friends, have you eaten your breakfast this morning? Mm, talking about the breakfast, do you still remember last time we talked about the journey of the food inside your body? So, what food did you eat? Did you eat the healthy food? Or did you eat the unhealthy food? Wow, of course you eat the healthy food. Yeah, because if you eat the healthy food, then the good nutrients will also go through your body. Um, talking about the nutrients, do you know how do the nutrients travel to all of your body? Yeah, the blood, our blood, will help the nutrients to travel to all of our body. But how it can happen? Yes, it needs the help from our heart and it's located here you may touch it and you may feel the beat of your heart when your heart beats it helps the blood to travel to your body by pumping it like when you pump the balloon that's how your heart helps you to pump your blood but friends do you know that the blood not only brings the nutrients through all of your body the blood will also bring another supplies what what is it oh it means that the blood also has its own journey not only the food do you want to know okay let's find out okay let me introduce you to the red blood cell yeah can you see yeah. this red blood cell is the driver of the car and this red blood cell oh he brings the supplies and he wants to deliver the supplies to all of your body what are the supplies? yeah, that one is the nutrients and oxygen correct ok, here is the red blood cells and it wants to deliver and pick the supplies through all of our body and it also travels in certain road do you know what is the name of the roads the name of the roads are arteries and veins you see it? yeah, when the red blood cell travel to all of your body it's not alone it has so many friends start from the heart here is the journey of the red blood cells delivering the supplies to your body it will go to all of your body to deliver the supplies while delivering your supplies these red blood cells will follow this red road we call it arteries while these red blood cells finish delivering all the supplies we will go back 
to the heart and he will follow another road yes we call this road by veins later these red blood cells will follow this road to go back to the heart and it happen again and again and we call it circulatory system okay kindergarten to that's all for today ah before we end the session i want to ask you one question friends can you imagine how if the red blood cells meet traffic oh oh can it still delivers all the supplies to your body i'm waiting for your answer goodbye kindergarten too see you next time